G'day guys, welcome to uh, the coronavirus uh, edition of Oz General Store Car Reviews. Today we're looking at uh, my BG Valiant Coupe. I'm very, very happy that I've got this thing and you can see I'm, I'm touching it incessantly. I've got my mask on, so actually uh, when we tried to film uh, my voice, you couldn't really hear anything in there. You can see a broken headlight. I've got to talk very quickly. I'm trying to <laughs> show you guys everything about this car um, and yeah, you know, there's a Valiant badge there. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Wow, phenomenal. It's white, it came from Bega, New South Wales. Yeah, the indicated uh, lens is broken. Well, this is actually pretty hard, guys. Uh, it's a Hemi, 245 Hemi. Um, this car's gonna get restored. You know, it's in pretty good condition there. there wow, well, the door works. You know, it's got that nice thudding sound. Not that you guys can hear it, but anyway. Um, yeah, mate, so uh, what can I tell you about this car? It's got no interior, it's got a bench seat. It's not bolted down, the steering works. Uh, have a little bit of a closer look in there. Wow, look at that amazing uh, couch-like seat. No bolts, you can see, yep, um, there it is there. No carpet, I'll do all that stuff later. I'll put down the Dynamat, I'll redo everything. You know, that stuff's easy, nice and easy and fun. Um, all the trims are in the back, you know. Have a look at the gauges. Wow, I've got a pacer gauge that, that, that came with the car, so I'm probably gonna put that in. You know, but barely anything works in the car, and you can see there. There's no real uh, holes in the floor. There's a bit of rust in the sills. There's a bit of rust in the rear quarter panel, but you can see there, she looks pretty straight. Uh, she must have had a repaint sometime in her life, but white matches the tag, so maybe I'll make her a, a pacer replica or something like that, I don't know, who knows. But uh, yeah, the roof is nice, there's no real dents. Uh, replace the headlining. But all that will come with time, you know. It's, uh, I'm still not spending a lot of money on my cars. I'm just doing things myself and mucking around and having a lot of fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? There's a bit of rust around there. There's, not that you can really see in the, in the footage, but yeah, down below there's a bit of rust, there's a bit of bubbling, you know. Jeez, huge boot, looks great. You know, it's almost like a second bonnet, really. But um, yeah, you know, like I'm just admiring it. I'm trying to find the keys for the boots. I can show you how many bodies fit in the back. By my estimate, I reckon probably about five. I think I counted over here. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there you go. Wow, look at that. Great acting, you know. Crazy times that we live in at the moment. There's a bit of rust top of the boot, but nothing that you're gonna write home about. Um, yeah, let's have a look on the other side. So as I said, I picked this car up from uh, Bega, New South Wales. I drove six hours to get the deal done. This was before everything was locked down, so don't worry, guys. And I met the bloke, and he was a real nice guy, and he had one of these mysterious properties, and yeah, you know, I'm dancing around like an idiot, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, opening the engine bay, giving you guys something to look at there. It's a bit warm, because I'd been um, trying to do some circle work in our yard, but actually the footage isn't, isn't that cool. I thought I was going pretty hard, but doesn't look that exciting, but here's some B-roll footage of our uh, of the 245 Hemi. It's uh, looking a little tired. I've done a little bit of work to it, but not really. It runs. I tried to do it a bit of circle work at the start when it hadn't been warmed up, and it just kept on cutting out. But once she got warm, she was fine. Two barrel. I'm I'm saying to you, maybe I'm going to take it out, maybe not. It's matching numbers. Leave a comment below. Tell me what I should do with this thing. I really don't know, but I know that. Hemi Performance is going to get a very nice size order from me. Um, yeah, now with the 245, I mean, she still gets up and boogies. She's a, a bulletproof uh, engine. You know, she smokes up upon startup, but hey, it's been uh, left in a shed for like 10 years, so what do you expect? I love it that it's two door. I just can't believe I finally got one. Mate, I'm over the moon that I've finally got my hands on a VG Valiant Coupe.
That was a bit of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Almost. Mm-hmm. 